Paris. The French capital is located in the north of the country, in the Ile-de-France region. The capital region has around 12.4 million inhabitants, making it one of the largest metropolitan areas in Europe. At the same time, it concentrates over 18% of the whole French population and generates around 30% of French GDP. Let's take a closer look at the capital region. The satellite image shows the approximate size of the metropolitan area. Within the city limits of Paris, 2.1 million people live on 105 square kilometers. However, the municipality only makes up a small part of the agglomeration. Paris is surrounded by three very densely populated départements. Haute-de-Seine in the west, Seine-Saint-Denis in the northeast, and Val-de-Marne in the southeast. These form the so-called Petite Couronne, the inner suburban belt. Paris and the three neighboring départements have a combined population of around 7 million, on an area roughly equivalent to that of the Hanseatic city of Hamburg. In order to better manage the strong growth of the capital region after the Second World War, five planned towns were created from the 1960s onwards, the so-called Ville Nouvelle. The conurbation is located in the Paris Basin, whose most important river is the Seine, which flows into the English Channel at Louavre. Important tributaries in the region are the Marne and the Oise. Overall, the region is flat to hilly. The highest elevation is the Colline de Lancourt, which was created by dumping garbage and is 231 meters high. At 129 meters, Montmartre is the highest hill in the city of Paris. To the west and east of the center are two large green areas, Bois de Boulogne and Bois de Vincennes. The climate is temperate and the modern oceanic influence is clearly noticeable. Alongside New York, London and Tokyo, Paris is considered one of the most important cities in the world. This is due to the city's leading role in political, economic and cultural terms. The city is the political capital of the strongly centralized French state, which has a permanent seat on the UN Security Council and is one of the largest economies in the world. Paris is home to the headquarters of international institutions such as UNESCO, the ESA and the OECD. Most of the leading French companies are based in the Greater Paris area. Examples include the automotive industry with Renault, energy companies such as Total Energy or Angie, retail and food with Carrefour and Danone, pharmaceuticals with Sanofi, as well as L'Oréal in cosmetics, Vinci in construction, and AXA in insurance. Paris is also an important financial center, with the Paris Stock Exchange and the headquarters of major banks such as BNP Paribas and Crédit Agricole. The La Défense business district in the west of the metropolitan area is considered the largest office district in Europe. On a cultural level, Paris is the most important center of French and French language media. These include the television station TF1 and the newspaper Le Monde. The city with the Paris Fashion Week is considered the fashion capital and center of the luxury industry with companies such as LVMH or Kering. The cultural charisma of Paris includes museums such as the Louvre, the largest and most visited museum in the world, the organization of numerous internationally important exhibitions and trade fairs as well as its gastronomic culture. The Paris wholesale food market, the largest of its kind in the world, is now located in Rangis. Most of the leading French universities and colleges are also located in Paris. Tourism is also of great importance. With 38 million tourists in 2019, Paris is one of the most visited cities in the world. Many of the most famous sites are located in the center of the agglomeration, within the city of Paris. 
Major exceptions are the residence of the former French royal family in Versailles and the Disneyland theme park. Despite its great economic power, the region is characterized by great inequality. Many municipalities in the northwest and south have a particularly low standard of living, while this is above average in the municipalities in the west. As the French transport infrastructure is strongly oriented towards Paris, the city is the country's most important transportation hub. The Boulevard Périphérique is a ring highway that surrounds the municipality of Paris at the level of the former city walls. Various highways in all directions of France start from here. The A86 completed in 2011 is another ring highway in the Petite Couronne area. Finally, the Francilienne is another but incomplete ring road. Most of the French high-speed lines served by the TGV terminate at the major Paris stations. In local transport, the metro network is particularly dense within the municipality of Paris. With over 220 kilometers of track, it is one of the longest metro networks in the world. The suburbs are better connected by the RER, a suburban railroad similar to the S-Bahn, which runs under Paris itself, mostly in tunnels. There are also other suburban trains and an increasing number of streetcar lines. The most ambitious project at present is the constructions of the Grand Paris Express, around 200 kilometers of new metro lines, including a ring line, will better connect the suburbs. With 76 million passengers in 2019, Charles de Gaulle in Roissy was the second busiest airport in Europe. Orly Airport handled 33 million passengers and is number two in France. The port installation of Paris are the second largest inland port in Europe after Duisburg. And that concludes this brief overview of Paris. Thanks for watching, and till next time!